good day and welcome once again to our Monday devotion. We are going through the Bible, but we're starting with the book of Proverbs. We're on part four on Proverbs. Let's pray. Father, we come before you once again this day. We offer this time, Lord God, as we look into your word, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, that this short devotion, Lord God, of your word, Lord God, will penetrate both our hearts and minds, Lord God. We ask that you would speak to us and teach us, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So the title of today's devotion is Desiring God's Wisdom. So I'm going to read. From the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things, and the work of their hands brings them reward. That is found in Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 14. And in Proverbs 14, 26, it says, The fear of the Lord is a mountain of life, turning a person from the snares of death. Let's read. Each year, parents scramble to secure the best educational placement for their children to attain the ideal environment and platform to which they can excel in preparation for their crucial years before choosing their university route. However, in order for a child to grow, they must embrace the challenges that come with this journey in order to flourish. In chapters 12 to 14 of Proverbs, we learn that true wisdom comes from God, who is sovereign above all things. God prepares for each of His children His best plans so that we are able to thrive in life. Let me pause there for a moment. It says, God prepares for each of His children His best plans so that we are able to thrive in life. So for each individual, God has a specific plan. And His plan for each individual is different. And each plan is His best plan for that individual. However, let's continue reading. If we desire to grow in knowledge of God, we must also delight in being corrected by Him. Again, if we desire to grow in knowledge of God, we must also delight in being corrected by Him. A humble and teachable heart will invite an upgrade through every learning curve. In Him flows the fountain of life through which we are not easily entrapped by the snares of the enemy but are empowered to live a supernatural lifestyle with His kingdom, eyesight, and understanding through all the seasons of life. The prayer here is, Abba, Father, we delight in Your presence with us each day. May our hearts never turn away from You, but have the fear of the Lord that leads to an abundant, victorious life in You of blessings and favor in Jesus' name. Amen. So this prayer, it says that may our hearts never turn away from you, but have the fear of the Lord that leads to an abundance, abundant, victorious life in you. So having the fear of the Lord, actually having reverence for God is really what leads us in that life that God wants us to live not only victorious, not only the abundant life, but the life that glorifies God most specially. And so it is important that we have that fear for God, reverential fear, that respect for God that in everything we do, we want to obey Him. Your assignment for today is to read Proverbs chapter 12, 13, and 14. So as I shared last week, Life is a journey, and in this journey, we have a destination. On earth, our destination as Christians should be to fulfill God's plan and His purpose here on earth in this life that we have. Ultimately, our destination is to be with the Father in eternity for eternity. So basically, in this life of ours, we have out on two destinations, one that is earthly and one that is eternal. 
I want to talk about our purpose or our destiny here on earth. Let's talk about our jur the journey of our lives here on this earth. Now, this journey here on earth is full of ups and downs, twists and turns, just like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes, you know, our life is full speed ahead. Parang, you know, we're going so fast, so good, everything's happening so well. And sometimes it's a slow climb upwards. Sometimes it's fun, like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes it can be scary. Sometimes the weight can be boring, just like a roller coaster ride. But the difference is on a roller coaster ride, the ups and downs, twists and turns are fixed. You don't have to decide when to turn, when to go up, or when to go down, or when to go full speed ahead. Unlike our lives, we have to make decisions. We have to decide ourselves when we want to turn, when it's time to go full blast, full blast forward, when it's time to go up, when it's time to slow down. We have to make those decisions in life. And it's all about growing. You know, many times we, we make the wrong turns. Many times we make the wrong decisions in life. But like I said, it's all about growing. What's important in life, what's important in this journey of ups and downs, twists and turns, what's important is that we remain humble and teachable and that we accept correction. That's the, one of the most important things, to be humble and to be teachable to learn how to be, you know, to be corrected and to accept correction. In Timothy or 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says, All Scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Teaching is what shows us the way. So it's profitable for teaching to show us the way. It's profitable for rebuke to show us when we got off the way or when we got off track. It's profitable for correcting to show us how to get back on the right track. It's profitable for training to show us how to stay on the right path. I want to talk about my journey. When I first became a born-again believing Christian, you know, I had a change of heart. I now wanted to follow God with all my life. Yan na naging heart ko. But like everyone else, everyone else, including you, our hearts are often mixed with His desires and our desires. So there's a mixture of desires, mine and His. I wanted to serve God, which is His desire in my heart, but I wanted to do it my way. That's my desires. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to serve Him, but I wanted, it, I wanted to do it my way. It was my plan to join the U.S. Air Force and to become the very first Protestant Filipino in the U.S. Air Force. I would have had a good paying job, prestige by being the first Filipino uh, chaplain or Protestant chaplain, and have everything that I dreamed of in life, a nice car, a nice house, etc., etc. But God had other plans. He rebuked me in my journey, in my path of following my dreams. He rebuked me. He corrected me. He put me on the right path, the path that He planned out for my life. 40, 41 years later, here I am, still on the same path that He placed me on because I found out that His ways are much more better than my ways. His, it's not only higher, but it's better. And so my encouragement to you is to be humble. You may be at a point that you're still seeking Maybe you've been a Christian for a long time, but you're still at a point of still seeking your path. Maybe you haven't found your path yet. Maybe you seem to be lost in a way. You know, you've, you're a Christian, but in your path of life, maybe you still seem to be at a lost. My encouragement to you is to submit your life to Him. Allow Him to rebuke you. Allow Him to show you where you have got off the wrong path. Allow Him to show you what the right path is for you. If you have a wrong choice in life, if you made a wrong turn in life, a wrong path that you chose, just allow God to show you His way. Remember, His ways are higher than our ways. Always fear God. That's the beginning of wisdom. And it's wisdom that leads us on the right path. So my encouragement to you, to many of you who are still seeking what path 
of life is for you here on this earth, what your purpose is here on this earth, I'm encouraging you, number one, to fear God. And that fear will lead you in following Him and His ways. Amen. I hope this helped you. It's helping me. And I just pray that, you know, this devotion that we're going through will continue to bless you. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once again this day. And I thank you for your word. And I just pray, Father God, that you will continue to speak to all of our hearts, changing our ways, that in all our ways, Lord God, that we will glorify you, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that the anointing of your word, Lord God, will go forth, Lord God, touching every heart, Lord God, changing every mind, Lord God, and showing us your desires, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to submit to those things. We thank you, Father God, for your word, the power of your word that changes us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. So God bless you. Have a great week, and I'll see you Sunday and Wednesday. Again, God bless you.